Hello everyone, and welcome to another tutorial from Sloth Strips. Um, today I'm going to be, do some, be doing something a little bit different, and I'm actually going to be talking to you about ways to make money using PHP, and web design, and web development, and that sort of thing. Um, people suggest this a lot, or ask for it a lot, how, like, getting emails about how do I personally go about making money with um, PHP or web design or web development or whatever and so I've decided that since it'll be a quick tutorial or a quick guide um, that I will share some of my tips with you um, but just want to get a couple things straight off the bat uh, I'm not like this video is not some get rich quick scheme it's not um, an affiliate marketing uh, program. It's not teaching you how to get a job with some company or corporation or whatever. It's not one of those videos on YouTube that um, claims to allow you to make thousands and thousands of dollars weekly from your basement. Like, I'm not trying to advertise any program myself. I'm just trying to give you a couple of tips on how you can. Oh, what is this? No, close. Close. Okay. Um, sorry. I'm just trying to give you some tips on how you personally can apply some of the knowledge that you're learning to make an income. Um, specifically in this video I'll be talking about freelancing, um, script creation, and tired work. Freelancing and hired work are very similar, but I'll um, note what I mean afterwards. Um, just a couple other things. I'm not the most knowledge person when it comes to making money with um, web design or web development. And it does take a lot of work to make an income from it. Like people do it with or as a career. Like people freelance and they work for companies and they get hired by people full time. So I mean, it's a highly competitive market. Um, so don't go into learning how to code. What the heck? Uh, keep color screen and don't show this message again. Sorry. Um, so don't go in with the intention of trying to make money. You should be enjoying programming, and if you want to make money on the side of it, go ahead. So, um, just as a personal experience note, I'm a teenager, and... I earn enough money from freelancing um, to not have to warrant getting a part-time job somewhere. However, I'm not making enough money currently to live off of. It's not a salary. Um, however, as a full-time student, I attend school full-time, uh, it allows me to make enough money that, or so I can attend school and have money on the side. Um, so yeah, without uh, further ado, I shall start explaining things as we're already three and a half minutes in and I haven't told you anything. Um, so yeah, like I said, the main methods are freelancing, script creation, and hired work that I'll be going over. Um, freelancing, basically what freelancing is, is where you don't work for anyone, but people request you to do projects for them, and you perform them and are paid for either the time spent or delivery. Now, when you're freelancing, um, there are two main ways to go about it. The first would be to have your own site to advertise yourself and promote yourself and display your portfolio somewhere and have people contact you. Um, this is fine if you have a steady flow of uh, traffic coming to you if you have some way to attract customers. However, if you don't have that flow, then you're going to have to go out searching for people who need you. And to do this, there are a number of um, suggestions I have. The first would be to um, visit sites like elance.com or odesk.com or freelancer.com or just run a search for PHP freelance and it comes up with hundreds and hundreds of results. And basically, um, I'll just click on one random one. Um, I'm not advertising for them, so yeah. But basically, um, 
what sites like this do is they have people who need people to freelance for them and they post projects so you just go click on latest projects and this whole list of things comes up and so people need everything done so it's from animated banners to translating to web games to um, websites everything that you could possibly imagine someone needing done will be posted on sites like this and so you can go through browse the projects um, make offers on them and if you're chosen for these offers then um, you do the work and you get paid for what you deliver so um, the downfall to something like this I'm just going to go back to the Google um, is that it requires a lot of searching on your part and um, like I was saying before it's really competitive so there are a number of professional people who are bidding and so you have to either have really qualified um, credentials or um, charge much less than the more professional people or just happen to get lucky and pick up some projects however regardless if you're posting around you will get work to do for people it's inevitable it just might not be enough to like I said sustain a salary so that's one way to go looking for freelancing um, the other way that oftentimes works better because it's such a competitive market is to go to form sites so when I say that I mean um, sites or a community site that is based around anything um, for instance I found that a lot of the work that I've done has been based off of um, fan sites for different games or um, that sort of thing so people all come to the site to talk about a game or whatever and frequently there's a scripting section on the site just to talk about it and on sites like this anyone who has knowledge of programming are generally the most experienced programmers on the site you're not going to be competing with high companies for them so whenever anyone needs a job you can be the first to post and discuss your um, pricing there and whatnot so generally speaking if you have form websites so it's gaming communities or whatever they work better to finding jobs especially if you're not highly qualified um, other form websites that would work would be web design or web developing communities people are always looking for help there and again then it just becomes a matter of promoting yourself in such a way that you're more appealing to a customer than um, those your competition so that's basically freelancing like I said what freelancing is is just um, you, you are paid for work you perform a project you give them the project you pay for them um, now the next uh, way to make some money off of this is to um, sell scripts and what this involves is creating a script which is versatile and selling copies of it now um, so you could perhaps create a user system which would allow people to register and log in and stuff but the whole the pinnacle of script writing is that it needs to be able to be applicable for anyone's websites it can't it has to be implemented wherever however and it can't require lots of knowledge to do so so if you are capable of doing that um, you can write some scripts and one of the best ways to sell your scripts is on a site called Code Canyon and basically what it has is all sorts of different uh, scripts here or uh, categories for scripts and you post them and people are brought here through your script and or uh, through people are brought to your scripts through this site now the downfall to a site like Code Canyon is that um, the owners of the site take part of your uh, profit so again if you have a steady flow of traffic you can sell these scripts independently and um, really it's it's up to creating good quality versatile scripts and getting yourself known as soon as someone writes scripts that many people want to purchase every script that they write will be more um, likely to be purchased further you want to create supply and demand 
if someone or if there's high supply for a type of script for instance there is tons and tons and tons of people who want to create a register and login if you can provide a versatile good high quality script for that and sell it for a cheap price you'll have more luck than trying to sell some random script that allows you to do some random thing that no one really cares about um, so yeah it's basically um, script sales it's a little bit more self-explanatory you write a script and you sell it the upside to this is that um, after you write it once it can provide a constant revenue um, on top of scripts there are sites that you can sell layouts and CSS and uh, Photoshop files and stuff for but since I'm focusing mainly on web development um, I'm just going to be talking about scripts now the final main method that I had said to earning money is through what I'm calling hired work and basically what I mean by that is um, it's essentially the same as freelancing except instead of having a one-time project you have you act as a webmaster of sorts for a person so it's almost like a free a full-time freelancing job um, the difference is, is that you're not being paid for delivering or you are being paid for delivering and not a salary of any sort so for instance if you know that someone's creating some huge network website and it's going to require a lot of search engine optimization a lot of frequent updating uh, managing of databases um, managing of a server making sure it's up and stuff this can all be done you, you can get hired essentially to be doing this and the person pays you for the work that you've done um, an upside to this is that it's possible very possible to have multiple hired jobs at a time so you can be working as a webmaster for four or five different people and getting paid for what they're doing it's all up to the amount of time that you have so again you'd go about finding this the same way that you would go about finding freelance work it just depends on what the person is looking for um, so those are my personal methods of going about making money and like I said I don't have time to work a full-time programming job nor do I have the experience nor do I have the skill level necessary or the qualifications or any of that so I just go about it in a much more amateur way however all I'm looking to do is make enough to support spending habits you know um, so those are the main ways of going about it and just as a few tips um, despite the fact that you're not working professionally it's very helpful to be formal and to be professional so when you're writing an email to someone or contacting someone you want to be using proper grammar you don't want to be talking like this like it's, it's really not um, no one wants to hire someone who can't spell or talk or um, who's punctual if you have a deadline you meet your deadline um, make your contact information professional too if you have um, an email from when you were in grade two and it's lollipop candy cane sugar land rainbow flower sunseed whatever um, don't use that to contact people no one wants to be dealing with someone who sounds like they are 12 regardless of whether you're 12 or not it really doesn't make a difference you're dealing with someone over the internet as long as you can act mature and professional so have professional contact information if you're um, if you feel inclined to do so uh, keep a portfolio of all the work that you've done um, this is especially goes for people who are doing design and opposed to development to be able to show um, designs that you've made in the past it's very 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 beneficial to those who are looking to purchase from you um, next tip is to treat yourself as a business and what I mean by that is you are the one who has to take initiative um, so for instance setting your own pricing or if someone asks you to do a job you go through it think about how much time it's going to cost you and offer them a price and then negotiate from there it's um, as soon as you start doing work for someone where they're in control fully then 
you've really lost the ability to monetize on um, the development. You have to treat yourself, or you have to act professionally and thus treat yourself as a professional. Um, people will take you as such. If you know that a job is worth hundreds of dollars, don't let someone pay you uh, much less value. Um, make sure that whoever you're dealing with is legitimate and that you have worked out a paying method that um, doesn't allow you to deliver items to them and then have them never pay you. Uh, it's a lot of wasted time and it's generally a horrible thing to happen. Um, the final tip that i just like to say, and I mean I'm really personally speaking I'm really bad for this but it's helpful if you can follow it and it's just don't bite off more than you can chew if you're getting bogged down in projects um, it's less motivation for your clients to re ever return to you to even want you to complete a project that you started um, it's just really a bad thing and so don't start accepting or searching for multiple projects if you already have some on the go finish those ones and then go searching again this way again it's all about being professional um, you're not going to sell something that you don't have in stock if you don't have the time to invest into it and unless of course it's on a hired basis where whoever you're talking to has a relationship with you and knows okay I can he will only have this completed by such date or she will only have that completed by whenever um, if you're just dealing freelance work, don't take on too many projects at one time. As soon as you start getting bogged down, you'll have less motivation to code yourself, and thus you'll cut your income. Um, so that's pretty much all I have to say. I mean, just to recap, freelance, sell scripts, get hired. Um, it's not a way to get rich quick. It's You have to be investing hard work into it people make a career out of it and so don't just try to make money from this don't go into the intention or don't go into programming with the intention of making money from it it's not the way to approach things um, so that's really all I have to say I hope this didn't sound like horribly sell out video and I promise to anyone who subscribed to me right now for actual PHP tutorials that I will be getting around to them and I have some plan for the near future I've just been really clamped down with schoolwork and it's my main job at the moment so um, hopefully you guys can be patient with that and yeah um, further just to sell myself out a little bit more um, if you want to try and keep up with me and updates as to when tutorials are supposed to be coming out or to suggest things to come out um, like subscribe to the channel number one if you feel is necessary I mean if not don't I really I'm just out here to try and provide information that I have to people who don't have it um, further you can I'm sorry this has been a really boring video to actually watch here we'll, we'll do some movement for you um, so yeah feel free to subscribe Feel free to message me with anything that you need if you don't want to subscribe or if you just have a question or whatever. Um, I have Twitter and I update that, well, whenever I feel is necessary. Um, so that's Twitter forward slash sloth scripts or at sloth scripts or however Twitter people advertise themselves. Um, it's probably linked on my YouTube page too. Really just um, do whatever you need to to gain information that you need or to finish the project you're working on that's really why I am making videos is just to help you guys out so I don't care about well I don't it's not that I don't care about my following base I don't care about the numbers behind the videos if I help people out that's really what um, I'm trying to do at the end of the day so yeah just let me know if there's anything I can do or anything that you need or whatever um, so that's about all for this video. I'm sorry that it was 20 minutes long. That's unnecessarily lengthy, but, um, thanks for watching.